we're going to have a look at another differentiation technique of the quotient rule. This kind of follows on and is quite similar to the product rule. And in fact, we're going to use the product rule to prove this new quotient rule. And so a quotient rule, uh, as it seems to suggest, is to help us to differentiate what we call rational functions, where there's uh, one function being divided by another function in the same variable. In this case, u of x divided by v of x. And I've written out here uh, what the quotient rule is. Uh, but before we think about using it, let me just explain to you how we've derived that particular formula. So rather than go back to differentiation from first principles, we can use the product rule. We'll assume that that's uh, a valid uh, rule. We've proved it already. So we're going to think about the function f of x equals ux, u of x over v of x. I'm going to rewrite that as f of x equals u of x multiplied by v of x to the power negative 1. So it's the same idea except that now we've made a product of terms which means that we can use uh, the product rule. Okay, So uh, we're basically saying that our function f of x is u of x multiplied by v of x to the power negative 1 and the product rule says you might usually write some stuff at the side, but the product rule basically says differentiate the first function and multiply it by the second function as it is and add to that the first function and multiply it by the derivative of the second function. Now if we differentiate this function here we could carry out first of all the, uh, the differentiating the outside term so it becomes negative v of x to the power negative 2. So multiply the power at the front there, our new uh, coefficient. So we've got the term in the bracket, decrease the power by 1. And according to the chain rule, we then have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which given that the inside function is v of x, we're going to multiply it by v dash x, the derivative of v of x. So I'm just going to leave the first function as it is for a moment. I'm going to tidy up, simplify the second expression. We've got a negative multiplier, so the, the plus is going to become a negative. So we've got a difference of terms now. We've got u of x. I'm going to take the function at the end, v dash x, which is multiplying. And we've still got this v of x to the power negative 2. So we've got in each of the two expressions a negative power, so we can rewrite that in fraction form. The first one becomes u dash x over v of x minus u of x v dash x over v of x squared. Okay, so we don't quite have equivalent denominators here. If we multiply the first fraction by v of x, then you can see that we're going to have v of x squared on the denominator. So the top term becomes u dash x vx over, that's going to be vx squared, and we can subtract from that v of x v dash x, and that is the quotient rule. So in other words, for a given function u of x over v of x, we can apply this particular uh, formula or rule, and we can calculate its derivative. Um, if you're writing it down, it's a wee bit uh, sketchy, but it's helpful just as a memory aid. To just write down it in the letter form, u dash v minus u v dash over v squared. You'll notice that um, the numerator is the same arrangement of terms of the derivative of one multiplied by the other, except as a product rule, except that crucially it's a, a difference of terms. Product rule, just write it down for it to compare it, is u dash v plus u v dash. So there's a similarity to it, but it's really important that you don't uh, mix the two up. 
Okay, so that's really how the the quotient rule comes about. We'll go on now and learn how to implement it. But just so that you know, that's where it comes from. It works. Uh, it's a good proof. Um, I hope that's been of interest to you.